Good morning. If this is anything like the indictment, we will likely see a sea of blue here in support of Detective Jonathan Diller, killed in the line of duty by a career criminal set to go before a judge once again today. 34-year-old Guy Rivera shot and killed NYPD Detective Jonathan Diller during a traffic stop and also tried to shoot his partner, but the gun jammed, according to Queens District Attorney Melinda Katz. The officers approached Rivera and the driver, another career criminal, Lindy Jones, a legally parked SUV in a bus stop near Mott Avenue and Smith Place in Far Rockaway, when Rivera opened fire, shooting Diller in the stomach. Sources said police believe the men were looking to rob a T-Mobile store in the area when that shooting happened. Diller's partner shot Rivera in the back. He's now been hospitalized for several weeks. During a body search, police found another weapon, a shiv hidden inside Rivera's backside. He previously spent 10 years behind bars for assault, drugs, and hate crime charges. He now faces life in prison, charged with attempted murder, murder, and criminal possession of a weapon. As these dangerous individual inflicted a level of violence that took the life of a police officer, of a husband, of a son. And we could see it as the role that police officers play every day as they move towards violence. But the reality is this is a loved one that we lost, a young man. Detective Diller leaves behind a big loving family that includes his wife and one year old son. Guy Rivera goes before a judge at 10 o'clock this morning. Outside Queens County Criminal Courthouse, I'm Calorama, PIX 11 News.